Hey there, everyone. Welcome, and thanks so much for joining me. This is Heather Lloyd Martin, and I'm CEO of SuccessWorks SEO Copywriting. Now, last week, we introduced a new video series where I'm pinpointing different places on a website that has some great and yummy SEO copywriting opportunities. And today, I wanted to talk about a really important point if you are selling a product or a service, which is, are you making your call to action hard to find? Now, I thought about this because I was on Feedly's site today. And like a lot of people, I use Google Reader, and I know I need to migrate into something different. So I'd heard a lot of great things about Feedly and I was interested in signing up. This is the screenshot of the home page above the fold. So I'm looking at the copy and thinking, huh, I'm not quite sure where I would sign up. And I see that little hyperlink there at the bottom of, of the paragraph and thought, okay, so that must be it because it's a hyperlink. It's prominently positioned above the fold. Maybe I'll click on that and be able to sign up. I click on that link and boom, I'm taken to a blog post that talks about keeping the site up, listening, and adding new features. So by this time, I'm highly confused about how I would actually be able to use Feedly. So I back out of the blog post, go back to the home page, and I notice that if I scroll down below the fold, that's where it has Get Feedly for Safari available on the App Store or get it on Google Play. That's where the call to action was, but it was buried beneath the fold. I also went back to the blog post and noticed that had I scrolled down on the blog post, I would have seen note two. That, and although it is not necessarily a very strong call to action, you know, technically is a call to action, but it was buried there, so I didn't see it immediately. So there are some lessons to be learned here. And that the main one is don't hide your call to action and stick it below the fold. If you want people to do something, especially if it's like an instant type of thing, like get Feedly, you want that front and center. So consider the main action you want people to take and make that action easy to take. Don't make people play Where's Waldo with your call to action because it's also very easy for them to think, never mind, back out of your site and go to a competitor. So when you make that call to action easy to find, you're going to definitely increase your conversion rates. So thank you very much. If you'd like more tips of how you can write better content and make more money, you can sign up for my newsletter at seocopywriting.com for daily or weekly updates. And also, if you have any comments on today's video or any questions at all, please let me know. You can reach me at heather at seocopywriting.com or find me on Twitter at, at Heather Lloyd. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care and have a great day.